keeping up right now and into the rest of the evening. Lainey. Well, the good news is, is that the worst of it is behind us. We do have a little more rain in the forecast. And yes, the rivers are going to be cresting with minor to moderate flooding, but some improvements as we look ahead toward the weekend. Streams and creeks look like this one behind the Elkin Library. Check out the water flow with it right now, where we have seen in some cases five, six, seven inches of rain across our area over the last few days. Now, the rain is going to be tapering off. Those rivers are cresting, and yes, we are going to be seeing drier skies in our holiday weekend forecast. It was a little bit warmer out there today. We've got some 80s in the weekend forecast. Right now, we're showing some 50s in the mountains and 60s across the Piedmont Triad. It's not as windy either. I'm just going to fast forward right to the weekend because that's the best news I've got for you. Temperatures are going to be in the low 80s for Saturday and Sunday, upper 70s on Monday. I do think there'll be a little sun mixed with clouds. It's not completely dry. We've got isolated thunderstorm chances in the afternoon on Saturday and some scattered showers and thunderstorms that will develop mainly after lunchtime on Sunday and Monday. The storm system that's been plaguing us over the last several days is slowly moving away right now just to our south and yes we're still getting a fetch of moisture off of the Atlantic coming in from that low moving across the heart of the triad and up into Virginia where we've got some moderate rain right now Again, it's not as widespread, not everybody's seeing it, so that is an improvement, but we do still at least have some showers out there. Haven't had any thunder out there in our area today. Most of that's been to the south, but we have an opportunity for that tomorrow afternoon. Here's some of the rainfall across the area. This map may be hard for you to interpret, so we'll break it down also with some towns. So Greensboro, about six plus inches. Burlington, also close to three and a half. I should say Lexington, that's six inches of rain. Kernersville, almost six. And Winston-Salem, just over four and a half inches of rain. You're seeing any where from four to four and a half across many of the communities. I would say that was a good average. And then, of course, we had some spots that got more than that, like North Wilkesboro. As far as additional rain, I do think it's going to be around a half of an inch. Could get close to an inch if you get under a thunderstorm, but we're not looking for that much more in the rain gauges. So that is good news. Of course, all that rain draining into the rivers. So we do have some flood warnings for the Yadkin, for the Haw, and for the Dan. We'll start with the Dan at Wentworth which is expected to crest this evening and early overnight, and that'll be at a mi minor flooding across the area. The Haw River at Haw River this evening, moderate flooding with the crest at just over 23 feet. The Yadkin River a little bit later on, and that is at Yadkin College, the crest expected tomorrow night at just over 24 feet. The storm system to our south, you get a good eye on it. It will move away, but not before it brings us some additional rain. I do think most of the heavier totals we do receive are going to be in the mountains or in the eastern triad. You'll see scattered showers in our evening forecast, but wait till you see tomorrow morning. Yeah, it actually looks fairly dry by tomorrow afternoon. Not too bad, even a little sun. But then notice the later it gets in the day, there is a chance for some showers and thunderstorms. So we are in a marginal risk tomorrow for isolated, strong to severe storms. It will be considerably warmer with temperatures in the upper 70s, close to 80 degrees. And we're looking at about a 50% chance for showers and thunderstorms from the triad to the foothills, also in the mountains. We've got that chance for late day showers and storms, temperatures that near 70 degrees, even in the mountains. So we are trending up with the temperatures. The skies are pulling apart just a little bit to reveal some sunshine just in time for the holiday weekend.